Welcome everyone to Asset School, celebrating 65 years of transforming lives presented by the Queens Health System. I'm Steve Uihara from Hawaii News Now, and I'll be your host along with McKenna Maduli. That's right. And later in the show, you're going to meet Assets graduate Moani Hara and my good friend, Lena Jamison Myers. We are excited to be here at this beautiful, mission driven school. Assets embraces giftedness, dyslexia, and learning differences. Parents always say an assets education is a necessity, not a luxury. Now, as we social distance, as is the norm now, as your host, know that we're going to be doing our best to bring you the closeness that comes with this show. Yes, that's right, Steve. Aloha, everyone. Mahalo nui for joining us. During our hour together, you'll learn how Asset School understands that the greatest minds do not think or learn alike. Assets is a college preparatory school for students kindergarten through 12th grade, offering a world-class education from specially trained faculty. Assets meet students' education profiles in a nurturing environment like where we are filming from in the three-year-old Harry and Jeanette Weinberg village that was made possible by generous hearts within our community. I am honored now to introduce you to the head of school, Ryan Mesa, and Assets reporter, second grader Esmond Pang. See if we get some competition. Go Esmond Pang. We are going to let you take it from here, young man. Thanks, McKenna and Steve. I love watching you both. Hi, everyone. I am Esmond. I am seven years old and in second grade. I'm so lucky to be interviewing the head of school, Mr. Ryan Mesa. Why do you love assets? Oh, that's a great question. I love assets because I get to work with students like you, kids who have really creative and, and big brains and you know who learn a little bit differently and what's neat about our school is that we uh, understand and accept and affirm kids who learn differently and we get to help them really find what they're interested in and develop those strengths and I think over time help them better understand themselves and advocate for themselves and that's um, it's a real joy and a real real privilege to be able to work with kids like you and and families like yours. Has the school really been here for 65 years, Mr. Mesa? The school's been around for 65 years, yeah, as been. It hasn't actually been on this campus the whole time. We started at Pearl Harbor um, with a group of moms who realized that they needed something different for their, their child. And so, you know, as you know, when moms get together, they can make really amazing things happen. And that's what they did. And they helped found this school. And we've been on this campus for a little over 25 years because we outgrew Pearl Harbor. It just was too small for us. Eventually outgrew this space too. And so um, a couple years ago, we also purchased the Academy of the Pacific campus up at Aleva Heights. And then we moved our high school up there. So now everybody has the space that they need to spread out and really run the programs that they want to run. Do you have a lot of partnerships? You know, Esmond, we're really lucky. We, we do have a lot of partnerships in the community. I think the community really has um, appreciated what the school does. You know, one of the really noteworthy partnerships that we have is with Kamehameha Schools. We were talking with them and said, you know, maybe there's a way that we can come together and help both schools by helping them enroll in assets. We're actually helping both organizations because we, we both care about helping families. Did you know the students in Mr. Pennington's laser cutting class created the six and five and students in grades one through four designed it. I saw that, that was super cool. And I think it was a great example of what's so awesome about our school because it was example of how we allow students to be creative and really explore and do deep dives into things that they're passionate about and where their strengths lie. You know, you've done such a great job asking me questions. Can I ask you one question? What do you love about Asset School? Well, I like the teachers because they can help you, but they don't help you so much that they give you the answer. Mm -hmm. They like help you enough so that you can figure it out on your own. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a great quality and it's a great compliment to your teachers. Thank you for letting me interview you, Mr. Mesa. Thanks for being such a great interviewer, Esmond, and asking such thoughtful questions. I mean, thank you for sharing what you shared with everybody about your experience here at Assets. That was a fun interview. Now we're going to hand it off to the high school. What a cute interview, Esmond. Welcome to the high school. I'm Myrie Travis. I first transferred to Assets in the third grade and I'm currently a junior in high school. 
assets really helped prepare me for college through um, programs like the dual credit program where I actually get to go and take college courses. I'm currently looking at for undergraduate um, a couple of the top tier schools like Brown, Stanford, and Yale. I am diagnosed with dyslexia, dysgraphia, ADHD, and I'm also um, diagnosed gifted. I definitely have struggled a lot with written language, like reading even more than like a paragraph is almost impossible to comprehend it fully and not feel completely drained and exhausted you know, my math skills and stuff like that was so much higher in terms of the class. The mindset that we have on campus of it not being this sort of taboo, like secret that it's like, oh my God, you know, you have dyslexia, you know, that's so scary. You know, it's, it's more accepted and normalized and it allows you to sort of take action with in yourself and allow yourself to uh, grab onto the resources that are available. And so once I was sort of able to accept that part of me and allow myself to get the extra help, it really just sort of changed. And that's all due to assets. I mean, they taught me to do that. It's like a community, I guess, right? Because you got these small little groups, right? We have our own little bubbles. We got around 16 in each class with two teachers, so it, you can kind of bond with everyone. So it's that small village sort of feeling. Before I came to assets, I was struggling a lot with schools. So my parents found this school when they figured out that I was dyslexic. And I've learned a lot of things over the past two years. At my old school, they would just put down so many papers in front of us. And if we didn't get it done, we wouldn't have any type of breaks. But here, with all the work that we get, it, they just help us out no matter what we're doing. It was a bigger problem back then which, at, at the elementary schools because they kind of want you to keep it bottled up and, you know, sit down, be quiet. So here, I think they have, I remember Miss Thurman's class. She had all these little toys and stress relievers that you could just mess with and play with, which was just great. So you could just exert your energy here and focus over there. I think the most important thing that I can bring to a child's education is that everybody is capable and um, if I give you the right environment and I give you the right tools, then you're gonna be able to soar. A wobble stool or something to fidget with or you know, you need a break or you know, you need extended time. Just um, you know, the great thing about assets is I'm not locked into something that has to be a specific program, but I can I can meet the children where they are. And now you get to meet our school counselors, Miss Lee and Miss Peggy. Thank you, Nahele. What's so special about Assets is that it goes beyond the fact that it's a school, it's a community. It's a reflection of the fact that um, in Honolulu we can have such a unique school like Assets that serves neurodiverse, twice exceptional learners. I think the counseling program at Assets is particularly unique because as in everything at Assets, the ratio is really great. The fact that we have three counselors for less than 200 students, um, which is really atypical, which means that they have easy access to us, which means that we can be really integrated to every fabric of the school. So we work with the students directly. We facilitate group sessions. So we have things like female empowerment groups. We have boys social skills groups. We're really able to meet the needs of the students as we see it play out versus they have to subscribe to what we say that they should need. Um, we also work with teachers directly so that we can make sure that students are feeling connected to every part of their school day and we work with parents. So in one way, we're not just a specific role in the lives of children, we're infused um, and it's really multifaceted. So Assets does have a, a much more, I would say, comprehensive approach to providing social emotional support to students. We think about what is the environmental situation for students in terms of supporting their social emotional lives as well as their learning. And we think about what community resources are available for these students and how can we connect families and students to these resources. So we, we really try to be in step with what the needs of childhood are. If I knew someone whose child wasn't thriving in their current school environment, I would definitely say to consider assets. 
We first came to Assets um, after my, my older son was uh, diagnosed with uh, dyslexia. We knew, I knew something was wrong. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't understand why he was struggling in school. When I saw him in grade one on the first day, he, he, of grade one, he was just sitting there in class and he had a, a blank look on his face. He was just completely overwhelmed. He couldn't, all he had to do to leave the class was to write down a sentence on the board. And it was almost like he was in a daze. He, he, he couldn't do it. I tried to stay in the regular school and, and keep doing what they were asking me to do. It was taking us forever to do homework every night. That was a real struggle. And, um, you know, my, my mindset was, uh, you know, this is a school. They should be, they're giving us homework to do every night. Um, we should try and do it. We should really work towards getting that done. But he, he, he struggled and struggled. He was already exhausted when he came home from school. And then in grade three, he came to me and said, Mom, can you help me? I need to read this book out loud in, in class. I want you to help me memorize it so I can read it when I go into class the next day. But he still couldn't read it. You know, he still struggled, even though he'd practiced the section that he was supposed to read the night before. And finally he came to me and said, Mom, I'm, I'm stupid. And uh, I said, no, you're not. You're not stupid. I know that you're, you're bright and you can do this. The teachers are very supportive if you struggle, if and multiple kids are struggling, they'll go to each one and help them all. Mrs. Hawkins, our tutor, she actually suggested that we take them to assets because they have a free program where they evaluate how ready the child is for reading. It's an early reading screening and it's a test for students from kindergarten through third grade and offered to the community because early identification is very, very important for these kids because if a student is identified at a very young age, the amount of instruction, the intensity and the duration needed to remediate that child is very different from a child that's identified later. It was the reading awareness or the readiness uh, testing that really showed me that they were going to have the same issues and struggles that Jamie had and standard school was not going to work for them. I love how much support everyone gives you and encouragement but sometimes when I read like the word or w letters would like switch for me sometimes and I get very confused about it and then I ask for help most of the time. They don't hold you up to an arbitrary standard they, what we're looking at is continual improvement and they work with the kids where they are. I like how the teachers um, do care what level you're on and they move like different steps for certain people and they will work on with that kid and it will help them get better and then they can catch up with the class and feel happy and part of the family. I want them to be at assets because they are the best place for a student that has those learning differences and they can support him not just an hour or two a week with tutoring, they can support him all day long. Wow, McKenna, I had no idea that Assets offers a free reading screening for Akeki. Truly, this is a private school with a public purpose. Assets also teaches public, charter, and private school teachers, as well as parents, how to identify learning differences. Did you know that nearly 40% of the children attending Assets School are receiving financial assistance? Well, to raise funds to support the school, well, there's an annual fundraiser and an auction. This year, it is virtual, of course, and we have some great auction items and staycations, golf packages, and much more. To go directly to the auction site, log on to www.assetschool.givesmart.com. Stay tuned, as you do not want to miss Grammy-nominated Hawaiian music legend Henry Kapono and Asset School graduate Kapono Wong perform. I know I would love to stay at either one of these two beautiful hotels. And after the show, I'm for sure jumping online and bidding on Asset's auction items. 
Imagine a staycation at the stunning Westin Maui Resort and Spa, resting and relaxing in a gorgeous suite overlooking the Ka'anapali Coast while spending a few days at the spa. Sounds pretty heavenly to me. Another hot item is a tranquil oasis stay at the Olohilani Resort in Waikiki where you can't help but fall in love with the beauty of Diamond Head and our spectacular Pacific Ocean. Olohilani is offering the unforgettable soulful Hawaii package for three days in a one-bedroom ocean view suite. Then you can journey from Waikiki to the North Shore where you'll find Gunstock Ranch and a thriving forest overlooking the ocean. As you travel through the ranch by horseback or utility terrain vehicle amidst the gentle ocean breeze, you'll come upon the Alohilani Forest to plant your very own indigenous tree. Go online to see more of what this three-day package includes. And who doesn't love going to Kualoa Ranch? You can bid on an electric bicycle tour of the gorgeous Kualoa Ranch and see the spectacular Jurassic Valley. All donations support families in crisis whose children need an assets education. All funds go towards tuition assistance. And now, let's hear from an assets parents as well as some of the school's leadership, the trustees. We know that tuition was always going to be a, a really big thing because it's so expensive just living in Hawaii, but it definitely is worth it because the teachers here are so loving and nurturing. If it wasn't for the assistance that he has through scholarships, um, there's no way that we'd be able to attend here. The children need your help, and they are the leaders of our future. Aloha, I'm Tony Veracella, and I'm extremely proud to be an assets trustee for the last 25 plus years. I encourage all of you out there to, be, to learn more about assets. Participate. Uh, everything we're doing is to generate funds for scholarships. The mission is transforming lives, and I really believe that and have experienced that myself with my daughter who attended Asset School for three years. We have a gigantic surprise for you. Henry Capono, take it away. Well, thank you everybody and thank you. Uh, my name is Henry Capono. I'm honored to be here to celebrate Asset's uh, 65th anniversary. All right. I'm not sure if you folks know too much about Asset Schools, but uh, they're doing some great things for kids. And I'm uh, really, uh, really um, happy to be here and supporting them. We all have dreams. When I was a boy, I played with trains, cars and planes. I loved my toys. I'd close my eyes and I'd fly. I'd watch the earth passing by. I believed in my heart. I believed in my soul. I believed in myself and dreamed. When I was a teen, I went to school. I learned all the rules and had all the tools. But something inside burned like a flame. I knew what it was. I knew it by name. I believe. I believed in my soul. I believed in myself and dreamed. Hold on. Living my dreams, I got a beautiful wife and beautiful kids. 
and watch them grow with their toys. It reminds me of when I was a boy. I believed in my heart. I believed in my soul. I believed in myself in dreams, dreams, dreams. Always dream. Never forget that that's why we all got to where we are, is by dreaming. That was an outstanding musical performance. Now we're going to learn more about our mentorship program. One of my favorite things about the school is our mentorship program. Every Wednesday, we get to uh, choose a job or something that we want to work at or go to. So for the past three years, I've been in the um, blacksmithing mentorship. So I've been working with kids and my mentor to make pieces of metalwork and also woodworking as well. So our mentorship um, program is very important for our students because it gives them the chance to explore some careers that they might be interested in. It does count as an actual former career on your resume and it does show that I do have experience in different workplaces. It gave me more of a passion to work on cars. My further goal is to open shop with my friends. I feel that Whoever came up with this program is a genius. All schools should have this. They get a taste of the real world. They get a taste of what they would want to do in the future. We go through a hiring process with Asset School, a regular job interview. Then we bring them in and they do real life job. These kids have been fantastic. And in this day and age, repairing one of these cars, the, the diagnostic tool now are computers. And these kids, these kids today are really sharp with computers and they've come so far, it's, it's, it's a fantastic experience. Uh, my name is Landon Hamada. I'm a project designer here at Bowers and Kubota. I've been here at Bowers and Kubota for five years. Prior to assets, I, I thought it was a nightmare because I didn't know what was wrong with me. Um, the school that I came from, they didn't know how to help me. In sixth grade, I told my parents that I want to drop out of school because it's not for me. Fortunately, I was able to get into assets in the middle of eighth grade, so I was able to transfer. And ever since then, it's been a world of difference for me. I feel like I've coped with my dyslexia and found ways to work around it and work to my advantage. So after assets in 2006, I went to HEC for three years to get my associate's degree in architectural engineering CAD technologies. Along the way, I picked up my bachelor's of environmental design and my doctorate in 2016. It wasn't easy. I mean, assets was like a, a safe haven for me to learn and going to college was different. I didn't have all those luxuries um, that I could say I almost took for granted. I had to go and look for them. Luckily, assets did help because I went to school here locally. Um, they did put me in contact with people that um, would help transition me from high school to college. So by advocating, I was able to get the help that I needed. Through assets and the mentorship program, it actually helped kind of guide me into what my career I wanted to go into. My mentorship program where they introduced me to drafting, um, something that I do every day. I do feel that assets is a lifetime resource. Thank you, London. Let's see what's happening in robotics. 
Uh, when I first started teaching here, I always wanted to explore different ways so that we can apply math and science to real life applications and robotics is perfect. It was very STEM, it was techy, and the students get to have fun and build, tinker with their hands, something they can build. I like it because I like working with my hands. It's something that I enjoy doing and it gives me a way to kind of get my creativity out. It teaches me how to think on my feet and think problems through. Um, it teaches us kind of like teamwork and problem solving. Uh, the robot the students built during summer, it was actually a summer outreach project. A group of our three students wanted to see how they can apply their robotic skills to help our frontline healthcare workers to deliver food, to deliver medicine, and that way at the same time we can protect our healthcare workers. It is an honor and a privilege to support the Asset School. What I noted from the very beginning, as, as I quickly learned about how wonderful they are, is that they focus on the strength of each individual student. And then they inspire them to think creatively, to question, to learn, and then to innovate. Their ability to see within themselves that they can be take on great challenges and can do extraordinary work is something that I saw as essential for every person here at Queens, for our community. And I could tell this is a school that is mentoring and developing our next generation of leaders. It, it was really amazing to be up there presenting that robot after we've been working on it for an entire summer and put in all that effort and to be able to have that day was really, really special. Hello everyone, we hope you're enjoying the show. I'm Linda Jamison Myers, the Vice President of Advancement at Asset School. Thank you so much for all of your support. We are so grateful to the Queen's Health Systems, its CEO, Jill Hoggard Green, all of our sponsors, and to you for being with us this evening. The Queen's Health Systems is our title sponsor of this show and also donated $5,000 to our robotics team after the students built a medical assistant robot. Well, we have plenty of surprises in store and more auction items, including a stunning monkey pot carving from Hawaiian woodcarver McD Philpotts, who is a trustee of our school and former assets parent. You will also meet Sandy Tadaki, our admissions director, and hear from some frontline heroes. Now let's take a break and hear from some of our supporters. My name is Rachel Cook and my son Kavika Cook attends Acids up here at Level Heights and he's a freshman this year. My son did not like school. He hated it. Um, he was subjected to demeaning things on his campus because of his disability. In fact, I wanted to get him to Acids sooner and I, we couldn't so we had to wait a year and I made things happen changed jobs, moved, um, just to make the commute a little bit easier. I was furloughed, huge strain um, in the fact that I was able to get financial aid, um, helped out a lot. You know, this Assets is a unique school and there's no other school like it. I have a lot of people ask, why do you send you know, your kid to Assets? And I said, it's to change their lives. Uh, Russell Lau, I'm the chairman and CEO of Finance Factors. I'm a trustee. I've been a trustee for quite a number of years. I've been the treasurer for a, quite a long time as well. Uh, I love Asset School. Asset School is an incredible place, and I personally know this. I've had two children, two sons that attended Asset School, but he was a challenging child because he learned differently. He's very smart, very intelligent, and in fact, uh, at the last school that he was invited to leave, they said, hey, this kid could ca cause a lot of difficulty and a lot of problems for the community at large. Uh, not only did he get a uh, undergraduate degree in computer science, he got his MBA, he uh, got his law degree, and in fact he's licensed to practice law in California and Washington DC, and he just took the Hawaii State Bar exam as well. I know for firsthand that ASA School does an incredible job. Uh, there's just a, a, a learning environment that is just gets the students so engaged and they actually thrive. And so uh, that's, that's the reason I support assets. It kind of reminds me of a, a Chinese proverb um, that we often share at our company, CS1 Sons, where uh, it goes, if you want prosperity for one year, then grow grain 
If you want prosperity for 10 years, then grow trees. But if you want prosperity for 100 years, grow people. And that's really what ASSIS does. It really takes students at a very young age and really lets them grow, develop, and thrive. Aloha everyone, I am Moani Hara, an ASSIS alumni and Miss Hawaii USA 2014. Dyslexia Awareness was my platform as I competed to represent our state and I work closely with Hawaii International Dyslexia Association. I am so grateful to be a part of this meaningful show as I know what it is like to embrace dyslexia and overcome learning obstacles. Thousands of children and families' lives have changed as a result of Asset School being in Hawaii for 65 years, offering a world-class education. I look forward to sharing my journey later in the show. Right now, I would like to introduce to you Asset's 2020 alumnus Kapono Wong, an ukulele protege and college freshman. Kapono has performed with ukulele virtuoso and composer Jake Shimabukuro. And Kapono has won numerous international and national ukulele competitions. Give it up for Kapono Wong. Remember the good old days we're having so much fun. Life was easy under the sun. Country parties and backyard jams. The Rainbow Villa where it all began. We would play our guitars and sing our song. And everybody would be singing along. Back in the day, we were having so much fun. to be. The music was playing in the street. There were places to go, people to see. That's just how it used to be. We would play our guitar and sing our song. And everybody would be singing along. Back in the day, we were having so much fun. Hope you enjoyed that piece. I'm Gabriel Bridgman, a middle school math and science teacher here at Assets, plus I am also the student center advisor. I was actually gifted to be there and it was a very uh, joyous event. We appreciate their time and their gifts and their effort for just coming in that day and sharing what they had with us. Thank you guys for your time. Uh, we appreciate everything you've done for the school. Uh, back to you, Steve. 
This is an amazing school with a low student to teacher ratio at eight to one with a total student population on average of 340. Again, nearly 40% of the student population needs financial assistance. You can help the school by donating now at www.assets-school.org forward slash giving or head to the auction website and hit the donate now button. As Linda mentioned earlier, Assets trustee McDee Philpotts who comes from a lineage of creative and talented family members, owns Hawaiian Furniture Company and makes phenomenal custom carved wall art, panels, doors, and almost all of his pieces are inspired by Hawaiian culture and nature. Check out his monkey pod wall carving made especially for this event. This masterpiece stands at five feet, four inches tall, two inches thick. It's a beauty. Trustee McDee Philpotts describes this as his quote, contemporary interpretation of traditional Hawaiian carving. If you are a sports fan like me, well, you're gonna love this featured item. I think that Linda and I, along with my wife Liz, are gonna be bidding against each other for this one, a signed Steph Curry basketball. We are ready for the NBA to have all of its players back on court, especially Steph. And if basketball is not your game, among the many auction items is a signed Shane Victorino Red Sox shirt and baseball, Maui no Koi. There are many other items, so be sure to look at the auction site or donate directly to support tuition assistance and help a child who needs an assets education. Our enrichment program is based on the work of Joseph Renzulli, who worked out of um, the University of Connecticut. His belief was um, bringing gifted education into all education. Enrichments give us a time to help the kids develop new skills. It gives them a safe place to experience new things. It builds confidence. And it also, I, I feel it makes a connection with the teachers because we're sharing something that we love. For instance, I really love rocketry. And so I get to have that really special connection with students. Like, I like Legos because I get to make stuff whatever I want. Um, I like magic because I get to to learn mag cool magic tricks. And I also like to do rocketry because it has science and art involved. Cup stacking, it was hard at first, but then I finally got the hang of it. You can put the cups up and put them back down in geometrical patterns. And what I like about jewelry making is I like to be creative. Design technology is an incredible blend of math, science, uh, literature skills. They're able to bring these all together and learning about people's needs, uh, learning about how they can contribute to the world in positive ways. Uh, it's really inspiring, especially at Assets. Kids uh, come with really fascinating ideas and uh, unique abilities. Um, I like that this class is very innovative, that you can um, make a lot of different things that you can use in everyday life or like design stuff that you like or like to make. This class is helping me to what I want to be when I grow up because I want to be an engineer and I really like designing stuff in this class so I think this will really help me in the future. Wow, seeing that rocket launch was super exciting and it is such a joy to hear the children running around and giggling. All ASSET students go through an interview process when they apply from the little ones to the teenagers. I remember my interview and it was a pleasant experience, not intimidating at all. Do you know that ASSETS has rolling admissions and an open house is right around the corner? ASSETS admissions director and assistant head of school, Sandy Tadaki, is ready to share more with us. Well, the primary thing is that the profile of the student needs to fall within the mission of our school, which is very specific. We work with bright, capable students who are struggling with dyslexia or other learning difference, and we also work with students who are really bright and advanced and need a more challenging environment in order to remain engaged as learners. And so what we require is that parents provide us with IQ testing as well as academic achievement testing. And those data points are really important because the Data is diagnostic because it helps us understand what the student's needs are. And then it's also prescriptive because it helps us know what it is that we need to deliver to the student. One of the unfortunate impacts of students who are struggling in other settings is that their needs are not well understood by the educators, sometimes even by the parents. In order to survive in other settings, an extraordinary amount 
of effort and energy gets expended on supporting the students' areas of challenge or weakness. You know, if you're struggling with reading and you can't do your homework, and so you can't go to soccer anymore because it takes too much time. Homework takes hours. So the tragedy is that these students' identities become enmeshed with what their academic difficulties are. And that is heartbreaking. When these kids come to this school, what they find is that they're in an environment with adults who understand what learning differences are and how to support them. They're with other kids who are struggling along with them. And they're all learning together. They need to not be invisible. And I think that's what we do here. When kids come here, they feel like they found their people. ASSETS is a resource for life for our students. If you're interested in becoming an ASSETS student, we have open houses coming up on April 24th from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. for students entering kindergarten through eighth grade. We offer rolling admissions, plus we are offering private tours of our campuses. We also are offering summer camp invention for kindergarten through sixth grade and a host of other summer programs. Go to our website to learn more. We look forward to you joining us. Now we're going to hear from some of our assets frontline heroes. I want to say three to four months into his first year at the school, um, let me back it up a bit. Prior to, I was, learn I was trying to teach him the analog clock, first grade, second grade, and I just said, we'll get it one day. So I stopped and he started saying, mom, it's 2.51, we gotta get going. Mom, it's 9.15, it's time to go. And when I asked him, are you learning the clock at school? And he says, no, mom, now that my brain is calm, I can absorb everything that you are trying to teach me. And that struck home to me because I didn't realize his brain was not calm. Um, but just being in that right environment sets the tone for learning. Aloha, I'm Baron Gus, President and CEO of Ultras. I'd like to congratulate Asset School on its 65th anniversary. I know firsthand how important it is to have a school like Assets as a resource in our community. Just as we are all individual, learning styles can be as well. Too many times, children find themselves struggling in a traditional classroom setting with a feeling that there's nowhere to turn. And if left undetected, these kids can fall through the cracks, leading them to a spiraling decline in poor grades, social problems, and even depression. In contrast, asset students are positioned to thrive because of the unique classroom settings with reduced student-teacher ratios and individualized attention. But not only do students benefit from a school like assets, so do families. As parents, we want our children to thrive, and when they do not, we find ourselves in our own despair and question, are we doing enough or what should we do? Assets faculty and staff understand that educating a child is only one part and supporting the family is another. That's why throughout its 65 year history, we hear from alumni parents who say, enrolling my child in Assets was the best decision I ever made. I want to extend a big shout out to everyone watching who is a frontline hero. You know who you are. School teachers, nurses, doctors, firefighters, all emergency medical personnel, members of our military, police officers, maintenance teams, store clerks, everyone who has helped keep our children, our kupuna, and our state operational all year long during the pandemic. From the Hawaii News Now team and Asset School, we say, Thank you. Let's now take a peek one last time at more auction items. All funds raised supports helping students with tuition assistance and we know how important that is for Asset's children. Since I love to watch my family surf and my dad play ukulele, I know how valuable and exceptional these next two items are. A 9 foot 2 inch gypsy square tail surfboard is available to catch some waves in variable conditions. This is a popular item and I know it moved fast at Asset's virtual auction last year. A huge mahalo to Gary Chen. Now, my dad would love this, a tenor ukulele. I like how ASSET students have an option to learn ukulele throughout their schooling. Next up, Genesis Gallery's owner and ASSET's parent, Vera Kirkpatrick, kindly donated this outstanding heather brown canvas rightfully titled, Daydream Rainbow. 
Who doesn't dream of rainbows? This beautiful heather brown piece is so symbolic of Hawaii and will bring so much energy and joy to any room. Go online to Asset's website and donate now. In addition to what we have featured, there are many more exciting experiences, golf packages, and more to bid on. Again, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to everyone supporting this event. AssetSchool.GiveSmart.com or text Asset School to 76278. Coming up, Moani shares with us her journey at Assets and what it was like being Miss Hawaii USA. We meet an outstanding student athlete, plus we learn about that spectacular castle-like playground. Now I would like to introduce you to Assets parent, Donna Ng. So working on the front lines with COVID during at least the beginning, it was a lot of uncertainty or un, just unknowns, what to expect. It created a lot of anxiety for a lot of us and um, thinking about how it would impact our, our families as well. I feel assets handled COVID really, really well. Um, from the beginning when all the students had to go to distance learning, I was really impressed with the fact that they were able to move very smoothly into distance learning. Assets is a small school. We are at Wanohana and we need to take care of each other. So I was, we're really happy with the way that they've handled it. Since we've been at Assets, it has made a huge difference in my son's life um, in the sense that he has a place where he feels like he belongs and he can be himself. And he understands that the teachers are here to help him um, through his journey through school. I'm passionate about asking people to donate to Asset School because I believe it's a school that is a necessity here in Hawaii. I'd like to take this moment to thank our faculty and staff, our frontline heroes, for all of the hard work that they've done this past school year, the level of support they've given to each other, and most importantly to our students and their families have been extraordinary. They have been able to keep our campus safe and healthy and make sure that students are continuing to learn and thrive. On behalf of the board and myself, the biggest mahalo to our teachers. Thank you. Thank you to our frontline heroes. My name is Xander Waller, and I'm going to Shenandoah University to play collegiate soccer and study sports management. So what really helped me to get ready for you know, life outside of assets and life uh, going forward for soccer was uh, assets provided me to play for Pac-5, which is a lot of different schools. And for academic life, I mean, to help me go to college, I mean, they helped me with so much skills, with reading comprehension, when I came to Assets, my reading comprehension wasn't that good. You know, I was, we had to read out loud at my old school and I had struggles with that. I had anxiety. I was scared to be judged by my peers. And then coming to Assets, you know, in fifth grade, I came to Assets and my whole life changed. You know, I loved coming to school. At my other school, I didn't really feel like I was welcomed or that I, they wanted to teach me. At this school, from the first day, I could tell that they really wanted to teach me and they really cared about me not as a, not even as a student, but as a person, which really meant a lot to me. When our teachers would talk about high school and college beyond that, you know, they had goals for me. And the first thing I stepped on the upper campus when I was in the ninth grade, the first day, our principal told us about advocating and to advocate to make us reach out for help for our teachers and not to be scared. As is is definitely my family, man. I mean. The teachers, the kids, the administration, they've given so much for me. And that just speaks volumes to the type of character that these teachers have and how much they care about, not just me, but the kids around. So yeah, Assets is my home. I teach our college career guidance class, which is a requirement for graduation for all our students. And it's typically taken junior year. The focus of the class, um, centers around self-awareness, post-secondary exploration, and preparing for the post-high school transition. Our program for preparing students for life after high school is individualized, but um, we have high expectations for them because they're incredibly capable. As soon as you um, make those small adjustments that they need. But ASIS has helped me a lot um, academically, Without the donors, um, I wouldn't be coming to school. Yeah, being able to come to school here is, um, is awesome. I want to share with you how assets changed my life forever. 
Prior to attending Assets, I was ashamed of having dyslexia. People thought I was not smart, I struggled in school, but that all changed when I attended Assets in the sixth grade. Assets taught me to embrace my dyslexia and how to use specific learning strategies that work for me, creating a curriculum that met my learning profile. I had little self-confidence until I came to this wonderful school. But with having support from teachers and fellow peers, Assets taught me to be my own advocate. I am forever grateful for my teachers that kept pushing me and making school something I thoroughly enjoyed. I could name all of you, but I don't want to take up too much of the program. One of the unique things about Asset School is its mentorship program, which serves as an early bridge to the professional world. Every Wednesday, we would get to go off campus and shadow professionals at work. Through this opportunity, I was able to work in the in-flight office at Hawaiian Airlines for two years. After graduating from Asset School, I continued modeling, ran in the Miss Hawaii USA 2014 pageant, and won, going on to Miss USA. It was an amazing experience and it taught me so much of who I was and what I wanted in life. Throughout my reign, I kept my connections with dyslexia, working with Haida, Hawaii International Dyslexia Association, and pushing for dyslexia awareness. I still work in TV and film industry, co-hosting Cover 2 on KHON2 with Rob DeMello, varying modeling jobs, and even lived in LA for a short time making it to the big screen in Snatch with Amy Schumer. Now home, I have become a Hawaiian Airlines flight attendant for two years now. Talk about coming full circle. With the recent hit of the pandemic and coronavirus, I was furloughed, but with being my own advocate, I am now a workout instructor at Burn Collective and on Wine Ann, a podcast and YouTube channel where we talk about all wine and various topics that we can pair with it, like caviar, chocolate, and fashion. Thanks, Moani. I remember you when you started in sixth grade. We're so proud of all of your accomplishments. I wanted to take a minute to tell you a little bit about our playground structure. Um, it was built in 1994 with the, um, the help of over 1,200 volunteers. Almost by a miracle, the structure was built in just a week. And um, ever since, the kids have loved the structure. It just celebrated its 25th anniversary. Now let's hear from some of my colleagues. Building that playground was one of the best things I did in my whole life. It was a week spent with our parents and our kids, um, other members of our ohana, faculty, board members. And there were community folks who participated in this construction. I want this on the record. Susie Childs is the parent who spearheaded this. It was her passion, her determination, and her leadership that made this happen. If not for Susie, we would not have that play structure. And she was supported by the most amazing team of committee members who fed us, who got the tools that we needed, who monitored the materials that we had, who provided childcare. It was an incredible gift of pure generosity and love for the kids. The kids, I remember the kindergarten, first grade kids, soaping the screws, that was their contribution. On the last night, we lit it up with lights and all of the volunteers stayed and we took this group picture that was just, it just feel, it just makes me so happy. It's, it's, a symbol of joy, of possibility, of imagination. I mean, it's all of those things. And our kids need those things because learning is hard and they need to have a counterbalance to that. Thank you for spending the past hour with us, learning more about and celebrating Asset School. I wanna thank our students, parents, alumni, trustees, and friends for sharing their journeys with us and their stories. We are so proud to be part of this community with you and thank you for all that you've done for making assets strong over the past 65 years. To our donors and those considering making a gift, we thank you. you because of you, you give the students the gift of an education that they deserve. You give them a place where they find themselves accepted and affirmed. And they are such brilliant outside the box thinkers. They are our next 
generation of scientists and inventors and artists. And because of you, you unleash that potential for the benefit of all of us. Mahalo. There is nothing quite like helping a child succeed in life. And that's what your support of Asset School is doing. As you have heard, Assets transforms lives and is an essential education service here in Hawaii. We thank you for supporting Assets. Yes, we, Steve and I, extend our aloha and mahalo to you and appreciate all that you do for Assets and Hawaii's children. Be well and malama pono. I'm thankful for all the teachers here that helped me better understand reading. I'm thankful for the friends that have made it Assets over the past two years that I've been here. What I'm thankful for is my friends and family. I'm grateful for Asset School and the robotics program here. I'm so grateful to have the students back on campus. I am grateful for my education. I'm grateful for all the teachers here. I'm thankful for my health. I'm grateful for the teachers and the faculty at Assets who have been helping us through hybrid learning and online classes. Thank you so much for supporting Asset School. Because of you, we're able to transform the lives of all of our students and grow the great minds we have here. I am thankful for my friends, my family, and my life. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and myself. And the best is yet to come. I remember the beginning, we were younger then. Used to play the scene, we both pretend. But that was then and now the moment come again. Do we do it all? Or is this the end? It's been a good time together. Looking for the warmth of the sun. Tomorrow's dream. You strike up the band and play that old familiar thing. You take the lovers by the hand and lead the way. Summer lady by your side, and then they slip away. to come. Thank you, everybody. Aloha. God bless. Love, peace, and all that good stuff.